Hey everyone, uh, let's see, yes, this is recording, excellent. So, uh, you guys are probably wondering where I've been, what I've been doing, uh, JK, you're probably not, uh, and, but if you are subscribed to my channel, uh, and, you know, you're seeing the surprising lack of content, it's because, uh, surprise, surprise, I haven't been putting any content, um, the later half of last year was when that kind of stopped. Uh, and I, you know, you probably saw me do like hit and run videos where I just posted project, uh, progress of various projects, mostly game jams and, and what have you, uh, on my channel. So, uh, the, I want to change that with this new year, 2018. Uh, I made one of those weird things that they call resolutions where I promise I'm going to do something for the year and, uh, I'm going to. I'm going to try to stick to it. So this is going to be my vlog space. Uh, I'm going to try to make vlogs. Now, I know a lot of you are curious and were at, have been asking me uh, constantly about the MOBA series. Uh, the MOBA series, I've, for the time being, it's, it is, it is on hold. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get back to it. I want to, I want to complete that, but... Uh, I've, I've kind of run into a, a wall because that series, uh, contrary to what it seems like, uh, that series wasn't really meant to be like a tutorial per se. So I didn't want people to follow it, you know, verbatim and like expect like me to explain how things were. It was more just a space for me to put together something uh, a little ambitious and see how far I could get with it. And I got to my limit with that pretty quickly when I got into the portion where I wanted to start uh, working on AI. Uh, truth be told, AI is a, is something in Unreal that I, I just I know nothing about. Like it just I'm sorry. Like it, the truth is out there. I I don't know a whole lot about what I'm doing when it comes to AI, and I I don't. I don't want to say that like I'm going to never come back to it. I definitely do want to complete that tutorial, but it's going to be a much more ambitious effort than uh, I thought. And uh, for those of you that have been uh, e messaging me and and emailing me and giving me uh, kind words, and I really appreciate all your. Uh, you know all the the nice things you've said to me and and you know the, i understand people have a lot of questions about where where did the where's the next video when is that coming out and you know i just it's so it, it's it's a lot it's a lot to do and i have i spent the later half of last year kind of leveling up my skills uh so that i could come back to it and uh, that involves me uh you know signing up for a bunch of online courses in programming and you know, learning a lot more about animation and what have you. I've been working on a fighting game. I've been working on a bunch of, you know, game jams just to put together, you know, little stuff. So I have a bunch of like little like projects like scattered. And so what I decided was that I wanted to put all of that in blog or in vlog form and just kind of give a little more context to all the random videos that you see on my channel. The biggest one is what you're seeing right now uh, in the screen is the is my major project that I'm calling and it's a game that I'm working on called One Jumper and I I like this this is the project that I have dedicated myself the majority of my time to I haven't said a whole lot about it because you know I'm still working on it and I want to uh, get the the I'm based I'm working on it and I want to get the feel of this game right before I I was gonna show it but I realized like you know what no like I I'm I want to put this out there I want to I want people to see it I do want people to you know play it and I I you know if I'm gonna if I have that mindset I shouldn't hide it you know and even though it it looks terrible and uh plays terrible. Uh, I it's something that I'm working towards you know fixing and like I want to 
I, I just, I want to bring you on the journey with me, you know, I guess that's what it is. So it's, uh, the, the object of the game is like, you know, it's a 2D action, a side-scrolling action game. I don't know if I call it side-scrolling. It's a 2D action game where you jump once and you have to, uh, use your boost mechanic to never hit the ground again, because if you hit the ground again, you lose. So that's kind of the elevator pitch for it. Uh, so, you know, it, it's, it's kind of simple. I, I want the game to do one thing and I want the game to do one thing really, really well. Uh, and that's, you know, the whole air control jump mechanic thing, because that's the crux of the game. Game isn't going to look spectacular. I'm, I'm kind of going for a, a, I don't want to say retro. It's going to be a 2D, uh, pixel kind of vibe to it. I have, a 3D model with a post-process effect on him uh, that makes him look pixelated in a way. Um, I didn't really necessarily want to make him look like a, a... Well, at first I had a sprite, but then I, I decided to use this effect in conjunction with um, various like drawn backgrounds and stuff like that. The art's not going to look great, to be honest. <laughs> I don't plan on it. Uh, just with me doing like everything I but the one thing I'm real uh, dead set and have my heart on is I want this game to feel good when you play it I want the whole mechanic of dashing in the air collecting things and destroying things to feel good and that's uh, what I'm working on right now and so uh, you know that that's what you'll see in a lot of these vlogs um, Another thing that I want to show is my fighting game that I'm kind of working on. Uh, that is a little bit more of an ambitious project, and that one I'm not really, I'm not really looking to go hard in the paint on that one because that one is so ambitious. Uh, that like, uh, like that that one I'm using mainly as like a learning platform to to kind of teach myself how fighting games are made because like like i do want to make a fighting game eventually like those are the games that i'm most passionate about i love fighting games um i love action games you know so that's something that i'm i'm kind of teaching myself slowly but surely uh and so you'll see that on there you'll see a bunch of miscellaneous other projects uh you know i have one that's that looks like you're a you know an astronaut on mars with a robot in there uh, I don't know what I'm doing with that one, honestly. I, I had, like, over the holiday break, I I purchased a bunch, of, like, uh, Epic Games went all Steam sale on me, and I purchased a ton of assets, uh, to, to, like, art assets. I'm no artist. Like, I, I can rig and I can animate okay, uh, but, you know, to make things look good and pretty, I, I just, I don't have those chops. But... Uh, on the marketplace everybody else does so you know I, it, I feel like it's a pretty good a pretty good trade-off you know I people can make pretty stuff I will purchase them and then I can use them uh, you know obviously that now I'm not using that for one jumper one jumper is gonna be like 100% me um, with the exception of maybe a plug-in or two we'll see how that goes uh, what else Uh, yeah, so I guess this is, this is vlog number one. Uh, so, uh, happy new year. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to have a lot of more, a lot more fun on this channel. Uh, I also plan on playing a lot more games. I don't know if that's going to come in the form of a let's play. I've told myself like, because like I'm an old man about life and I don't like, I never understood what the point of let's plays was. Cause like every time I watch somebody play video games, I just want to play video games. Um, but you know, it's, it's hot, it's, you know, popular for a reason. So, um, but regardless, that's kind of beside the point is that like looking back at last year, I realized, you know, I'm calling myself a game designer and then realizing I had only played a total of three video games last year, like three, it's so pathetic. Uh, <laughs> and like I just bought stuff on the Steam. I'm, I'm just spending money left and right on the holidays. That's what it does to you. Um, yeah, I just you know I bought a bunch of games on Steam. You know I have PS4 and I just I have not been playing anything. I'm, I'm trying to get a Switch. Uh, all that combined, and I just realized you know what? 
I I'm gonna play more games this year. Last year, it was part of my resolution to not play as many games, and I totally did that. I did not play it like like anything. <laughs> like I played three games last year, um, and then I you know the rest of the time I just I've been leveling up my my Unreal skills, my game development skills, you know. So I I want to bring a little more balance. Like I'm not gonna stop my my learning but i also i also want to i also want to like i want to be good at games again i want to play games again you know i miss it it's uh it's just something that like it's the reason why i do this is because i love games so much and i realize like i i'm not proving that by not playing games you know i I, like i i feel like in like in order to keep up with trends and know where the industry's at you have to play a lot of games and i haven't been doing that and like that at a certain point is gonna affect the way i design games and i I don't want to be designing games like that are that feel like they were you know a billion years in the past or not up with the times or you know what i mean like i want to make decisions that are informed and based so that if i do do something radically different it comes from a place that is informed by you know current uh trends and and stuff like that i don't want to just feel like i made these decisions based on like other trends that were happening like four or five years ago uh i want to i want to be up to date so anyway there there's that so i I know a lot of people uh is the opposite you know they don't want they they want to be more productive and me i feel i've kind of i kind of forced myself into this habit of being productive and playing nothing or and playing (laughs) of doing nothing but game development and learning which is cool like i love learning i love learning this stuff but at the same time i i need to be able to learn how to play more because that's that's also important to me so uh yeah uh that's it so this vlog uh was just to start out the new year uh next vlog is going to be more in depth as to what's happening on the screen that you're watching right now uh so the next one is probably going to be one jumper and then after that uh i'm not sure i might skip to something else that i'm working on it just all depends mostly it's these vlogs are mostly going to revolve around one jumper because that's my main project um but you know i've been doing a lot of stuff i'm getting into unity i want to learn lumberyard i want to keep learning i'm you know i want to learn as many tools as i possibly can in my game designer arsenal just so that you know i can be ready for any task so uh anyway thanks if you've lasted this long in this long-winded video thanks a lot uh you guys have yourself a wonderful new year's and let's get to work